Actually did my workout this morning got it out of the way which always feels so good took a shower and I ran to the grocery store I actually ran to the grocery store yesterday but they didn't have pumpkin puree and we need pumpkin for tonight's dinner which I am so excited about it is truly the epitome of autumn and I've never made this before but I'm excited to do a little cook with me with y'all later and I'm super excited to use my new always pan again and i'm so thankful that our place is sponsoring today's video i am so in love with this pan first of all it is beautiful but if you haven't heard of our place before they are a woman-owned brand and their mission is to support connections made across the kitchen table and they believe that home cooked meals are foundational to these connections which I absolutely agree with and I absolutely adore that notion because you guys know I love cooking and I love to cook for the ones I love and truly just sitting at the table enjoying a home cooked meal together provides such a place for conversation and just opening up and just enjoying each other's company so I've really been trying to value that more and be more intentional with that and inviting more people over for meals so that we can just connect deeper and slow down and just enjoy each other's company so I absolutely love our place and again this pan is so beyond fabulous as you can see it is beautiful but i also love that it is non-toxic so i've been doing more research about this and it's it's sad that we even have to look for this because you would just hope every pan is non-toxic but that is not the case unfortunately but our place invests in ethical factories responsible materials and since they're always pan is non-toxic it means it's made with non-stick ceramic coating that is made without those potentially toxic materials i also love this pan because it is so practical and this one pan is actually designed to replace eight different cooking tools so it replaces your fry pan, your saute pan, your steamer, your skillet, your saucier, your saucepan, your nonstick pan, spatula, and spoon rest. They have the spatula and spoon rest just built in on the handle. How clever is that? And it's so, so convenient. And I love how they have these little nooks right here so you can easily pour out your sauce or your water or whatever it may be that you're cooking up that day. And I also ordered some of their dinnerware collection, which I'm so in love with. So these are the side bowls. I love how stackable they are and not to mention how absolutely gorgeous they are as well. They have a few different color options. So you can pick the one that best matches your style, but they are so lovely. Let me show you my main plates as well. So beautiful. I'll put some clips in so you can see it with our delicious meal, little preview of what we're cooking tonight. So again, I just love our place and I'm so excited to cook with my Always Pan later this evening. And if you're interested in shopping the Always Pan or any of their dinnerware, glassware collection, I will link everything in the description so it's easy for you to find. And so like I teased earlier, I'm super excited for tonight's meal and I have been kind of daydreaming of it for a couple weeks now but tonight we are going to be making homemade butternut squash ravioli from scratch i'm a little nervous because i've never made homemade pasta at all before and i don't think i've ever made anything with butternut squash so 
it's gonna be new for me but I'm excited for the challenge and we're also gonna be making the cutest pumpkin rolls you ever did see so that's what I had to grab at the grocery store this morning and I actually went to the grocery store yesterday to get the rest of our groceries but they ran out of pumpkin so we're just getting into the season where pumpkin is a hot commodity and highly coveted so we're gonna need to stock up on more of that but I'm excited to do that later and get cooking with you all but first and foremost I just need to get a little computer work done get organized I have some emails to catch up on so we'll just hang out at the desk for a little bit before I get ready to make some lunch Well, my golden pothos is growing seriously every few days it pops out a new leaf which just makes me so happy um probably a week and a half ago it had 10 leaves but now we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 leaves and we have a new one growing right here let's see if you can see it it's about to sprout right along there so very exciting Okay, real quick, I wanted to share how I put my hair up in this claw clip because I get quite a few questions about it. And when I first got it, it was a little tricky for me too because I do have quite long hair and I just have a normal size claw clip. So it did take me a few times to kind of practice and get it all right. Wow, it's super bright. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can see me okay. But basically, I just take my hair like this and then I twist it like this and I fold it like that and put the ends of my hair at the top like that. And since I, I wouldn't describe my hair as super thick, so that definitely helps. It's kind of medium hair. It's not super thin, not super thick. So if you do have super thick hair, it's going to be trickier. I would probably just suggest buying a bigger size claw clip. But the thing that helps me is I clip it towards the top of my hair so where the ends are instead of down here at the bottom because it's just a little more thin and less dense up there so that's what I do and again you just kind of have to practice with it but this is my favorite hairstyle right now especially as it is still toasty outside and I want to wear my hair up but when I put my hair up in a ponytail or just messy bun I really can't wear that all day because it just starts giving me a headache but I feel like this I can wear the clip I can wear in longer without it kind of giving me a headache or feel like it's pulling on my hair so I love that and now I'm just wrapping up a few computer things before I make us a quick easy lunch I don't want to do anything fancy because tonight's dinner is gonna require a lot of work and attention so I want to just go easy easy on the lunch but I'm starting to get hungry so we'll do that oh and this morning it was kind of hectic because when I was making our eggs I looked in the fridge and there was like this broken blue glass and water everywhere and we were so confused. And then we saw one of my Topo Chico glasses actually burst because we had our fridge way too cold. Which that's happened before where we have stuff kind of in the back top shelf and it gets really frozen. Like yesterday we actually had some strawberries back there and they <laughs> basically were frozen. So we turned the, the temperature down, I mean up <laughs> on our fridge, but it made such a mess. So basically the Topo Chico froze and since water expands when it freezes, it burst the glass. So... We had to clean up the whole fridge, so at least our fridge is clean now, but it was not a peaceful morning. Well, that part of the morning, so we handled that, though. It's just kind of funny that that happened, and we learned our lesson, and now we're going to save some electricity because we don't need to have our fridge that cold. I don't know why it was that cold in the first place, but we learned our lesson the hard way. But 
for lunch, I just made us some salad and I'll probably have some hummus and pita chips as well. But it's just some spring mix with chopped up tomatoes, carrots, celery, and leftover veggie burgers that I made last night with some dressing. And then I added a little bit of the yogurt sauce I made for the blocking burger. So it's a little bit more filling thanks to the black bean burger, but I'll probably need a little bit more as well. I love how cute this butternut squash looks with our fruit in our fruit bowl. It just brings a nice autumn aspect to our kitchen. Oh my child, I know. Well, I gotta finish my lunch. <laughs> you gotta eat. It's iced coffee time. What Hurry time up. Is it? 1.28? No. It's early iced coffee time because we gotta fuel up for a cooking adventure. <laughs> we are gonna be working our booties off later, cooking a delicious meal. So we gotta fuel up beforehand. So I'm gonna make some iced coffee. Yesterday I picked up some Starbucks after grocery shopping and I ordered the pumpkin cold foam just on top of my iced coffee, but they actually just gave me an iced coffee with pumpkin syrup. So I went in and asked if they could remake it, but they ended up just giving me the iced coffee and the other orders so that was perfect i didn't mind at all that they messed up because now we have two pumpkin coffees and we can enjoy this one today cheers <laughs> my mom made me this sweet little bead bracelet i love it it's so cute all right i'm gonna sip on this and wrap up a few more things on the computer but then we gotta start cooking around like three probably because well first of all I'm making homemade rolls so whenever you make bread at home typically you have to have time to let it rise and proof so that the yeast can do its thing and just so the dough can settle in so we need to make time for that and then I haven't even read through the whole butternut squash recipe yet I don't even know how much time let's see butternut squash ravioli i really don't know how much time that is estimated to take but whatever it says it'll probably take me a good amount longer because like i said it's my first time so does this one i'm just gonna follow the tasty recipe I don't think it gives an estimated time, actually. It's a mystery. It actually doesn't look so bad. Bacon and squash is golden brown. While the squash is in the oven, make the dough. Mm. Yeah, it's not that bad. You do have to leave the dough in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. So that's just kind of like resting time. So I can get some work done in those little pockets of rest, but we also need to unload the dishwasher too and just kind of clean up around here as well. So it's gonna be a busy night. Oh, I don't have one of those ravioli cutters because I was just watching the Tasty video. Here, let me show you. What in the world? I do not have an ice tray either. Oh no, I'm scared. I'm gonna need to do some major hacks. Oh wow. I probably should have watched this before I went grocery shopping yesterday, but I did not. And I do not have one of those little cutter things. Why was I thinking I wouldn't need additional tools? So naive. I'm trying to think what I could use instead because I really don't, I mean, I guess they probably would have it at Target or something, but do I really want to go all the way there? Mm, not really. The only thing I'm thinking of, I could kind of do it like a Pop-Tart where I made homemade Pop-Tarts. I actually made some this weekend and basically you take a fork and you kind of seal the dough together by just pressing in the fork. I feel like that could work. That's honestly what I thought it was. So I think I'm just going to try a different way. I'll just take two thin layers of the dough and then I will just make a little pocket and then seal it with a fork. I'll show you guys later, but that's what I'll try. But if you make this... <laughs> Definitely make sure you have all the proper tools so you are just set up for success. All right, 
right, I'm gonna unload the dishwasher and then let's get started on these precious pumpkin bread rolls with cinnamon butter. I haven't even showed you how adorable these are. Look at these, oh my goodness. I can't even handle the cuteness. They're so adorable. And I just checked, you don't need anything, any special tools for this, just the ingredients, and you make it look like a pumpkin by just using a little paring knife. So that is what we shall do. As always, I will link this recipe along with the easy butternut squash ravioli recipe. Well, it's called easy butternut squash ravioli. We'll see how easy it is. But I'll link both of them in the description as always so you guys can try to make them if you want. But I cannot wait. I hope ours turn out as cute as hers did because they are just so adorable and I mean, my mouth is just watering thinking about pumpkin bread with cinnamon butter. I'm gonna watch my favorite while I cook and bake. And at the store, I got these pepitas and the, the neither of the recipes call for these but i think this will be really yummy sprinkled on top of the butternut squash because they are roasted and salted shelled pumpkin seeds and then this is the pumpkin puree that i found so it's not actually just pumpkin puree it's organic pumpkin pie mix i preferably just would have had the pumpkin puree without the added sugar because it has the organic pumpkin puree along with cane sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, cloves, and allspice. So it's gonna be a little sweeter and just have those added spices, which honestly probably will just make it taste more delicious. But I might just cut down the recipe a little bit if the rolls call for you know, some sugar and stuff. I might just add a little less, but I think this will work just fine and hopefully I'll be able to find just regular pumpkin puree soon. Because next week I really wanna find a good recipe to make a pumpkin cold foam coffee topper recipe. You guys know what I mean. Like the pumpkin cold foam that Starbucks does, but homemade. So I wanna try to do that next week, but I'll definitely need some pumpkin puree or something for that. So hopefully, I think I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's tomorrow. Hopefully they have it because again, it is just highly coveted and hard to come by this time of year. just hanging out over here it's looking really good I love the color of it it has that orange tint and it smells super nice so this is what it looks right now this is what it looks like right now and we just are gonna let it sit for an hour and hopefully it will rise my butternut squash and the seeds seriously look so much like pumpkin seeds so I have to roast the butternut squash anyways so I'm going to roast the seeds as well I'm just gonna put some sea salt and paprika and hopefully they will taste as delicious as pumpkin seeds all right let's see how much our dough has risen oh 
wow she is beautiful and now it's time to punch it <laughs> i know it sounds so violent but that's just part of the baking process when the dough rises you just have to go boop <laughs> and punch it down so now i'm just going to roll it out on a floured surface and divide it into i forget how many different parts but i think 15 because that'll be all of our rolls little dough balls so the next step is to press them down lightly and then make eight little lines so that it looks like a pumpkin so I have my knife here hopefully that'll go well but these smell so so yummy I cannot wait to take a bite out of one cuties some look better than others but hopefully the end product will be adorable our butternut squash is still cooking but our seeds are nice and toasty so i want to give it a little taste test some of them are a bit burnt but hopefully that's okay mmm that's good. It's almost identical to pumpkin seeds. They're just a tiny bit smaller. Ooh, also, next time I use butternut squash, which probably will be soon because I have a feeling this is gonna be really yummy. Well, once we're in our house, I can take one of these seeds and plant it in the garden or a few of them, and then we can grow our own squashes. I'm really excited. Also, that was our ice maker if you just heard that noise. Um, but I'm really looking forward to hopefully having a garden. We probably won't create one right away once we move into our house, but hopefully by next spring. And I think I would definitely want to grow butternut squash. I don't know. I think they're just a seasonal vegetable. I have so much research to do, but if you, if I have any garden experts out there, please let me know all your tips because I'm just really looking forward to that and want to start planning a bit more. Want to try a butternut squash? Seed? Roasted seed? Yeah. Or a lot of them? <laughs> One bone. You like it? Yeah. Some of them got burnt, but it's pretty yummy. Comes up. Oh, I like pumpkin seeds. Yeah, they taste just like pumpkin seeds, right? Yeah. This dinner is certainly no small feat. I've been cooking for almost two hours now, and I definitely have at least an hour to go. So. The rolls are over halfway done. I'm just letting them rise a bit more and then they just cook in the oven for 15 minutes and I just egg wash them. And butternut squash, I haven't even made the dough for the pasta part yet, so we're like a third away done. But we're getting through it. I'm having fun, but I definitely will need some relaxation time tonight. All right, moment of truth. We're taking the rolls out of the oven. They smell amazing. Oh, they're cute. Um, okay. They smell really good, and some of them look like pumpkins. Some of them are so big. Okay, so here they are. <laughs> they are super cute. I was just taken aback because some of them are so big, and I need to add my little pecan in the middle. Um, for the stem, but oh my goodness. I can't wait to try one. They seriously smell incredible All right, just finished working out <laughs> and that combined with the smell of these rolls <laughs> Makes me have to have one we have so to we're try. gonna try one. I'm working on the ravioli, by the way, and it's not easy. I would not not describe it as easy. What do we want here? Okay, just grab a random one. Oh, uh oh, it's stuck a little bit. Let's see if the other pan has better luck. Here, do you want the spatula? You can spin yeah, it off. Yeah, that may be what we need to do here. Okie doke. Pecan. Okay. Optimism. Pecan, not pecan. Okay, we're gonna try it without butter or anything. Ah. Mm. 
It's really good. It would taste way better with butter. It's kind of plain tasting, honestly, but it's fluffy and yummy. But it needs that cinnamon butter that I'm gonna make if I ever finish this ravioli. It's taking forever. No, that's really good. Mm. I had to Maybe try it just that. all by itself. Mm -hmm. Get the authentic taste. Show them the ravioli progress. Show them the two raviolis I've made. Mm, 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 mm. Show them this. No, the raviolis on the on the um, cutting board. Oh, I didn't even see those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they look like the little pop tarts you made the other day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Will do. Nice. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Gotta finish this. Mm -hmm. I need fuel. A little appetizer. Part two. Allison and I have been working so hard. Alright friends, I have made an absolute mess in the kitchen, but dinner is on the table. Brandon's just so zen in the corner watching the rain come down. He's so excited to eat. As am I, it's been quite the journey. I had a lot of fun, but wow. I definitely was super ambitious with this meal. It would have been a lot more fun to kind of just like maybe buy the ravioli pre-made and then just make the rolls or vice versa because woo, I'm ready to no, all homemade. And the rolls are cute. Let me show you the full, the full dinner. Okay, so we have the green beans and then in our always pan we have the ravioli and I added pecans and some of the pepitas pepitas why did that sound funny and parmesan and the thing with the ravioli is that I just had my dough way too thick so it's gonna be a little different and we have our cute little buns which are rolls which is definitely my favorite part oh and I forgot the cinnamon butter because I put it in the freezer because I accidentally microwaved it too long so you know it was an afterthought yeah hopefully it's not frozen <laughs> all right let's eat <laughs> but I am pooped after all that cooking thankfully Brandon is helping me with the dishes like a sweetheart so we have just been cleaning and unwinding and I'm actually gonna start editing this video tonight while I sip on some peppermint tea and one of my favorite shows recently has been renovation island on hgtv and it's about this couple from canada and basically they bought this old resort in the bahamas and they're redoing it to make it this luxury resort so it's really fun to watch super stressful at moments because they're just spending so much money on this resort but one of my favorite shows so i'll probably turn that on while i edit and then probably read my book the woman in the window i'm really enjoying it and i've been reading it right before bed and wow this meal took forever to make today but it's been really nice because i kind of needed a day off from social media and checking my phone so much so today i really have barely been on my phone i was just working and then <laughs> cooking and baking for hours literally so it was a great day i'm definitely gonna sleep super well tonight and the final verdict on the meal the butternut squash or yeah butternut squash ravioli super flavorful super delicious but i just need to master that dough a bit more because mine was just way 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 too thick because i just by the time i was rolling out the dough for the ravioli i was just ready to get this done so it definitely would have gone a lot smoother if I just didn't make the rolls and the ravioli in the same night and the green beans. So there's just a lot. 
Again, super ambitious meal, but it was super fun, super festive for the autumn season, and I definitely wanna make both of those recipes again soon, just on separate days, so I can breathe a bit a bit easier and not have it not be so hectic, unless it would be fun to kind of like make it with friends or with family so we have more hands in the kitchen. But yeah, it was a great day, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and spending time together, and I cannot wait to see you super soon. Bye! Bye.